All right, kids. So the uh, question came up is how can I um, get text on top of an image instead of using the sketch tool? And so what I did is I added a full screen graph. So the full screen graph, when you add a page, it's down here at the very bottom. So I added a full screen graph. And then what I did before I did anything else is I added a folder. And I wanted this folder hidden from my students. And inside that folder, I added the image that I wanted my students to see. I think it was this one here. And then what I do next is I just hide the, uh, I hide the grid and I hide the x-axis and the y-axis so the students don't see anything. But since I checked off the hide this folder from students, the students will not see uh, that folder. So in the student preview, uh, this is the image. I cannot draw on this image, but I, I could do some mathy things with it. So for example, um, my x-axis went from negative 10 to positive 10. So I could place a point at negative eight and one. And then I could actually click on the label and I could start typing in the label. And if I click and hold on this icon, um, I could change the font size of this to maybe five, or I could change it to two. So I could make it a little bit larger. And I could also turn the dragging on and I, then I can drag this point to wherever I'd like it to be and the text would go with it. So it's another way to get text in there. Um, if the point's hidden, I, don't, I can still drag the text as well. So I can even hide the text or hide the point and still drag the text around. So this is one way that I can get text into a, an image on top of an image. And what I'll do next is I'll show you how I did it on this one, how we can, how it's possible that you could also, um, this is a, an image that's in a graph component that is in a sketch component. So we'll talk about how to do that next.